There was a time of hope and prosperity in Ukraine, a time when innovation was blossoming. In Donbass, the proud football team of Shakhtar Donetsk conquered Europe, winning the UEFA Europa League Cup. A brand new stadium was built in the center of Donetsk for the Euro 2012 championship, hosted by Ukraine and Poland. International facilities were created in time to welcome millions of tourists and to present a new face for modern Ukraine. This new face changed dramatically in April 2014, with the outbreak of war in Donbass. This war in the east of Ukraine is now in its fourth year. There's daily fighting with military and civilian casualties. The war takes away people's homes, their loved ones and their future. In the center of Europe, in the 21st century, it takes away the lives of children and elderly people, causes them to starve. Every day, millions of people struggle to survive in inhuman living conditions. All of them, without exception, want a guarantee of security and the end of war. The toll of human suffering and misery for the affected people includes their housing, their ability to work, to earn a livelihood and look after their families schooling for their children, health care, medical and social services, the payment of pensions, benefits, and their general well-being. At the outset of this terrible crisis, the Renat Akhmetov Humanitarian Center was established in 2014 as a rapid response unit to provide practical aid and relief to the civilian population of Donetsk and Luhansk regions affected by the war in Donbass. The center is entirely privately funded and unites the resources of the Renat Akhmetov Charitable Foundation, all SCM Group's businesses and Shakhtar Football Club. It has evacuated and accommodated people from the towns caught up in the military hostilities since the beginning of the armed conflict in Donbass. A big thank you to Renat Akhmatov. There are many wealthy people, but he is the only one who's really helping. The humanitarian center established programs to support injured and severely ill children and psychological assistance for children with war trauma. And it has become the leading provider of humanitarian food aid for the most vulnerable categories of civilians. An example is Milana. She had to go through a long period of treatment after multiple surgeries. To learn how to live with a prosthetic limb, she needed the help of specialists. She went through a long rehabilitation course, which helped the leg to function better, and Milana learned to walk again. Thanks to the combined efforts of the international humanitarian missions and the center during the last two years, a humanitarian catastrophe in the heart of Europe has been prevented. But the people affected by the war still need help, and they need support mechanisms from government, business, and civil society. Humanitarian aid demands personal involvement and every effort counts if we are to put an end to suffering and to place humanity back where it belongs, at the very top of our priorities.